Uh, thank you, Chairman, Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor for me to make a speech at this conference here in the beautiful city of Dubai. On behalf of the government of Japan, I would like to express my sincere gratitude for the efforts by the ITU Secretary General, Mr. Holin Jao, and the ITU Secretariat for their preparations, as well as the government of the United Arab Emirates, who helped to make this conference possible. I would also like to express my sincere congratulations to His Excellency, Mr. Majed Sultan al Mesmar, uh, to his uh, on his selection as the chair of this conference. Additionally, I would like to congratulate for the successful launching today of the first UAE locally made satellite. It is our great honor and the pleasure that Japan has had an opportunity to cooperate with the UAE in this launching in the field of ICT. As you know, all member states should tackle the challenges of achieving the SDGs which is a global common target. The SDGs are a major part of national strategies to create a future Japan with a sustainable growing society. We reaffirm the importance of ICTs in development and in contributing to the implementation of SDGs. Inclusive growth is essential to achieving the SDGs by maximizing the benefits of digitalization, which brings affordable the price of information for everyone from children to the elderly. For these goals, we must take action of not to only bridge the digital divide by promoting universal and affordable broadcast broadband access, but also to encourage economic growth and innovation by promoting the free flow of information so that we can achieve sustainable economic growth. Japan faces such issues as population decrease and an aging society, and recently responses to several natural disasters. Development of a resilient ICT infrastructure is an essential and a valuable strategy to solve these issues and achieve the SDGs which will create a society in which all people all citizens share affluence and fortune. As a host country of the G20 summit and the ministerial meetings next June, Japan sends the message of our GD's SDGs promotion and leads the future of the world through their promotion. Japan frequently suffers from natural disasters such as earthquakes, typhoons, and torrential rain, which have struck repeatedly this year. Disasters have claimed precious lives and have caused economic damage. Once again, we appreciate all the assistance and messages of sympathy received from the member countries in the wake of these disasters. Furthermore, we recognize the importance and the powers of ICT as measures to rescue and clear worried worries of disaster victims and to get the required information for early recovery. We can contribute to establishing a disaster resilient network infrastructure and a global scale disaster prevention network through sharing our experiences and know-how of ICT usage against natural disasters with the countries of all over the world. Due to the growth of the internet, ICT has advanced to the essential infrastructure of the whole economic society so that the discussion of ICT issues are not simply closed within the ITU. Practical and valuable issues of how to effectively use ICT are being discussed in several organizations. However, the IT, ITU, as a family of the United Nations, has been playing an important role to implement SDG, SDGs in the management of radio spectrum establishment of global standards and development of telecommunication infrastructure and services. We believe that it is vital for the ITU to continue making these steady efforts with close coordination of each organization. In order to support the ITU in fulfilling its mandate and its further development, Japan would like to continue to commit ourselves to the extension of our financial support of 30 units as one of the largest contributors.
We would also like to contribute to the ITU through active participation in its, in its activities. And in this regard, we seek your support for our candidacy for the council seat. In addition, we have a highly knowledgeable and experienced candidate, Dr. Akira Hashimoto, for the RRB member candidacy. And I would like to ask for your kind support for him as well. By the way, I would like to draw your attention to World Expo 2025, whose host country will be chosen at the General Assembly of the Bureau International des Expositions, BEE, this November. Japan announced its ex candidacy for hosting the World Expo 2025 in Osaka, for which the theme is designing the future society for our lives. At the World Expo 2025 in Osaka, we would like to present our future socio-economic vision to all of you, where healthcare and sports industries and new businesses that apply cutting-edge technologies of the 21st century, such as artificial intelligence and virtual reality, will all gather in exciting ways on site. I would like you to support the World Expo 2025 in Osaka as a golden opportunity to look at and understand Japan's approach to achieving the SDGs. Finally, I would like to express my sincere wish for constructive and fruitful discussions in this conference. Thank you very much for your attention.